are Tabitha, Reina and Valerie from Cedar Girls Secondary School and this is our project on the noise levels of popular study areas in Cedar and how it affects concentration. You may be wondering, what led us to do this project? Well, does this look like a familiar scenario to you? You just want to study, but everyone around you is just too noisy. We all know how frustrating that can be. While discussing project ideas, the topic of sound level in our classrooms came up and this led to us wondering how exactly does sound level affect our concentration and therefore our ability to study? And after that, considering their sound levels, are the study areas in school conducive for our learning? And thus, this project was born. Firstly, what is a study area? It is an area that has been specifically been set up for students to study at. And Sida sure has a lot of them. They are often used by many Sidarians when we have some free time to do homework, project work or revise. Our study aims to investigate how sound level affects our concentration and therefore our ability to study well and the sound levels of the most popular study areas in Sida. Our hypothesis is that increased background sound level will diminish concentration. Now let's start with our methodology. There are three main parts to our methodology. One, the initial surveys sent out to all Sidarians. They were asked to choose their top three study areas from a list of 19 and ran six statements. The study area is quiet. The study area has Wi-Fi. The study area is convenient. The study the area is clean. The study area is spacious. And the study area has aircon slash is well ventilated according to how important they are when choosing study areas. We got 185 responses in two weeks. Two, the gathering of sound level readings of the most popular study areas from the surveys. We used a sound meter app that was recommended online to take the sound level of the different areas at three different times of the day, recess, lunch, and after school that Sidarians usually studied at. They were taken over a period equivalent to two school weeks. 3. The concentration tests done by Sidarians to see what sound level they concentrated best at. 21 Sidarians volunteered to participate. They were given a version of the Stroop test where they had to read the colour of the ink 50 colour names were printed in. They repeated this test three times, each time with a different sound level in the background. 55 decibels, a quiet room, 67 decibels, a typical conversation, and 80 decibels, loud singing or shouting, and was scored based on the number of colours they stated correctly. After the test, they were given a survey to do to find out which test they found the hardest to concentrate in, which took the most effort, and which they prefer to study in. Now let's see what our results show. From the survey, we chose the 8 most popular study areas in Sida. In other words, the areas we concentrated on in this investigation. These locations are, in order of votes, the classrooms, library level 1, library level 2, canteen, canteen extension, timber deck, first level empty corridor or FLEC, and tables outside staff room. Now let's look at the concentration test results. When sound level increased from 55 to 80 decibels, 57.1% of participant scores decreased, while 38.1% of participant scores increased. This suggests that while a larger number of sedarians' concentrations worsen when sound level increases, all sedarians have their own ideal learning conditions and some may concentrate better when sound level increases. However, results from the survey taken after the test show that more than half of participants found the highest sound level of 80 decibels the hardest to concentrate in and took the most effort to do so. Additionally, 85.7 of them would prefer to study in an area between 55 and 67 decibels. This suggests that despite evidence that some Sidarian's concentration actually improves as sound level increases, they would still prefer a quieter sound level to study in, as they find it more draining to concentrate in louder sound levels. However, from our sound level readings, we can see that many of the study areas in Sida have average sound levels above 70 decibels, and all of them have maximum sound levels near or above 80 decibels. This shows that all of the most popular study areas in Sida may occasionally hit sound levels that can worsen Sidarian's concentration and may not be ideal for studying. In fact, the only study areas with overall average sound levels below 70 decibels are the library both levels and the timber deck while the rest, not so much. In conclusion, Sidarians would prefer to study in and find it easier to concentrate in areas with background sound level below 67 decibels. The gold medal for the quietest study area goes to... the library! Both levels of the library have the lowest sound levels below 60 decibels, which will help students concentrate. In third place, we have the timber deck, with overall average sound levels below 70 decibels. Unfortunately, many of the other popular study areas in Sida are not as quiet, which may impair students' concentration. Before we finish, we'd like to thank our teacher mentor, Mr. Go, all our participants, and all our friends and families for all their help with this project. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope you enjoyed!